In this video, we're tearing down the GoPro Hero, the new camera from GoPro, which is built directly into its case. If you want to see my full review of it and check out the some of the sample video from this thing against a GoPro Hero 4, it stands up per pretty well. So check out the review. But in this video, we're going to take it out of its case to see how they managed to build this thing into the case and sell this camera for 130 bucks. So we're going to start, just going to open the case, pop the back door off just so it doesn't get in our way. This is where the SD card goes, this is where you plug it into power. And this is just about as far as you can normally get. At this point, this is all you can do. So we're going to keep going here. We got a flathead screwdriver. We're just going to come down the side here and put a little bit of force onto the edge of this case. And we can see that the latches are going to pop. We can do the same thing on the other side here and just really gently lift this bit off. So that's the back piece of the case. You can see there's five, six little um, latches here which clip into latches or into slots inside the case there and that's what holds this back door on. Now that we're inside we can kind of start to see the guts of it. So here this is the micro SD card slot. This is the USB port. This right here is the battery and then over here we have the back of the image sensor and some other stuff going on inside. So we'll keep going. We now just need a small Phillips screwdriver and we'll just start undoing screws. Guys, just as a, a note, I do not recommend doing this as this will definitely void your warranty, but it is cool to see what's inside a camera like this. Then we can go ahead and pull the battery out. So just put our screwdriver under the edge of it here and pop it up. It is stuck down with um, some sticky tape there. That's a little piece of sticky tape. We'll just put it over to the side there and we'll deal with unplugging it in just a second. And then we can continue to undo the screws. Alright guys, there we go. That's the completed teardown of our GoPro Hero. We can see we've got the back piece we took off first, we've got the back door, we've got the case with nothing in it anymore. So you can see here that the case has is very different than a normal GoPro case. It's got a lot of screw mounts in here for stuff to get mounted to. The other thing you're going to notice is that there's no um, holes here where you can detach the lens housing. So the lens on this is not replaceable at all. And then you can see that there's a big window cutout here for the LCD screen. And the buttons are very similar to the normal GoPro case. Now because this case isn't clear, there's also a add in there for that LED to shine through. Then we come over here to the main board. This is the processing board here. Um, this, I haven't taken this off. This piece of metal here is the heat sink. That is, so the processing cores for image processing are underneath this piece of metal here mounted onto this green PCB. The LED, which blinks when the camera's turned on, is right here. This is the power button, or the mode power button. And this is the LCD screen, which displays everything that's going on. On the back here, there's not too much exciting. Basically, there's one um, power lead here. This comes from the button on the front of the camera, and another one here that goes to the LCD screen. There's also a button on the top right here, as well as, uh, yeah, just a button on the top. There's also this connector here, which connects the uh, main PCB motherboard kind of thing to the camera lens setup. And then also down here on the bottom, there's this little housing here, which I believe houses the microphone. So that sits right down here in the bottom corner of the case. Then we have the second PCB, that's this one here. So this one was that original board which sat right up here in the corner of the housing. And this one has the micro SD card slot in it. That's here, micro SD card slot, and a U micro or a mini USB port here. Then there's the lens itself. So this is the camera lens and you can see it's built into this kind of very cool looking housing. So this has a the lens on the front of it, the image sensor on the back of it, and then a connector here which connects it onto the main board. 
And then finally, there's the battery. So this is a 3.8 volt, um, presumably lithium polymer. I can't read much of the information on the back of it. Uh, lithium ion rechargeable battery, 3.8 volts with a 1,130 milliamp hour capacity battery. And now this one is detachable and it's very easy to get at this battery. So I would presume that this would almost be user replaceable. Getting this back door off the camera is really easy and it just basically involves like just pressing on the side of it a little bit to pop it out like we did at the very beginning of the video. So removing this back door is simple and then I think you could probably user replace this battery um, if you ever needed to because the battery was dead or old. You're not going to do it on the hill, you're not going to do it during the day, but kind of like smartphone batteries if one day it stops holding a charge really well you could probably replace it without too much trouble. Then there's just some screws and some mounting brackets. So guys, that was my teardown of the GoPro Hero. What do you, you gotta let me know what you think. Did you like this? Um, do you wanna see more videos like this? I have absolutely no guarantees I'm gonna ever make more videos like this. This was pretty uh, scary and something I was willing to do with a Hero because there was tons of people who wanted to see inside of it. I wanted to see inside of it, but, um, and it was also cheap enough that if I don't get this put back together and working, which shouldn't be too much of a trouble because it was fairly simple, but, it wasn't a huge loss. Uh, I'm probably not gonna do this with a Hero 4. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. But if enough people want it and enough people just make enough noise and we might be able to make it happen. So if you wanna, if you're dying to see that, leave it down in the comments. And um, let me know what you think. Is this the kind of video you wanna see from me? Or yeah, let me know your thoughts. Um, what do you think about the inside of this? Do you think it's simpler than you were expecting, different than you were expecting, different than you were hoping? And yeah, just leave, leave your thoughts down below, leave a like and a comment, and until next time guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and check out my channel for lots more videos. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.